Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. I'm Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we travelled back down to Hyrule Castle underneath the sea, basically over near the Tower of the Gods, with Tetra, because she'd be knocked out by Ganon doing like the 1-2 or whatever it was in the episode before that, and it was revealed that she was Princess Zelda. Holy cow, big plot point there. Make sure you watch the other episode anyway, not just because I mentioned it, but because it's quite an important point. In this episode, we're going to be starting off by using a weapon we got in the last episode, the Ice Arrows, I guess, because over here is a very cool looking item. Look how it glows. In It's nice when it's night. Just look how it glows. That's friggin' awesome, guys. Love that. It does slow down a little bit. I don't know why. This is like a GameCube game on a Wii, on a Wii U, but I don't know why. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna start by freezing the fuck up, missed it. Okay, I didn't miss it. I didn't miss it at all. Watch this. This is gonna look amazing. Oh, that's as many points as you want. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get out because what we've just done, surprisingly enough, is frozen that lava with our ice arrows. It's a very good power up this because it is used extensively throughout the game. If you played Ocarina of Time and you did, uh, if you if, if you played Ocarina of Time and did the Gerudo. Um, doohickey, the Gerudo training ground where you got the ice arrows from that ice arrows in Ocarina of Time were completely optional and in Majora's Mask you only got them towards the end of the game um, so it, in this game they kind of treat it with a bit more I wouldn't say serious but they give it more kind of scope they give it more areas where it can be useful and the game is built better around it and it's actually really good fuck, it's actually really good if I get rid of him, thank you, bye person Bird person, bye. The like thing fell down. I'm not going to get that because I can't be bothered. Um, but it's actually really nice that they do build the game a little bit better around the arrows, because you know there was a sense in uh, Ocarina of Time the, the the fire, ice, and I guess light arrows expect you know except for Ganon's Ganon's tower in that game were quite optional in a way. They weren't entirely optional, but they were just a little bit more optional than they probably should have been. And it did bug me, bug me a little, because they were a lot of fun to use. I think there's a thing that, um, in Ocarina of Time, uh, fire arrows do the same amount of damage as normal arrows, I think. As, like, you know, bog-standard arrows. In this game, they do twice as much damage, which is fantastic. In this game, ice arrows freeze things, surprisingly enough. But not only do they freeze things, they also... I can just get you out of the way. They also freeze things in such, in such a way that you can then combo them and then whip out your hammer, or rather you can whip out your hammer to combo them, and then smash them in one shot and they die. So that's actually really cool. It's just kind of advanced combat with ice, fire and ice arrows. And I like it, not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. But anyway, we are in, uh, what's this place actually called? I can't remember what this island is called. It's like the volcano island, but it's more complicated than that. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, what, what does matter? We've got the power bracelets. It's surprising that we only get these so late in the game, kind of. It's about halfway through the game anyway. But these things are pretty crazy, if you can just demonstrate. That's a... Uh, look at his eyes! Look at those eyes and take in that stare, okay? He can't actually move. That's how much this weighs. He can only rotate. Only rotate. Rotate and go upwards, okay? That was pretty ridiculous. So that guy is built Right now, Link is built like a brick shit house. Anyway, what we're going to do is because we have that item, which is rather important for a couple of reasons, and we can play around with it later, is we're going to go to one of the points marked on our map, which, if I can bring up the map, is one of these. Now, for convenience sake, I'm just going to say we have to go to this one. I mean, we could go to that one up here, but we don't. I don't want to go to that one because uh, I'm getting strong urges to go back to kind of near outset because it feels like the right thing to do. I don't know. That might just be me. It doesn't matter what I think. Actually, it does matter what I think, because this is my channel. Shut the fuck up, guys. Whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. I love you guys. You guys are funny. I like you. Uh, anyway, there is something else we can do while we're here. Or no, you know, not quite here, as in outset, but there is something else we can do in this general direction. I mean, I am going to use a speed cell here, because I, I, I want to do quite a lot in this episode. I'm not entirely sure that I'll have enough time to do it all in this episode. But we can we can hit and hope and hope that we can do it all in this episode. It could be a long episode, that's my fear. I don't wanna I don't like making like 25, 30 minute episodes because 
I, you know, myself, I've, I've struggled to watch 25, 30 minute episodes unless it's like really, really good content. And, you know, people have said, oh, your content's really good and a very funny guy. But, you know, I, I'm very bad at giving praise to myself, so I don't really see it that way. So we are supposed, we are supposed to be going there, but we're not going to go there right now because there is a deed we can do over here. And there is something I haven't really showed off in this game. Uh, something that did terrify me as a child because I didn't really know where exactly they were in the overworld. But they aren't actually that bad. They're actually quite a lot of fun in a way. Kind of, not really. But we're going to go over to these seagulls because they look like they are having a fun time out here. But the reason why, the reason why they're having a fun time is because there's a friggin' like, giant octopus in, in the sea. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why they even congregate around a giant octopus. I mean, there's probably a reason, I don't know. It's like scientific reason why seagulls, like, go around an octopus. I don't like how, how much lag there is. This is a GameCube game with a new coat of paint. The Wii U should be able to sort of play this without too much hassle. And it's, it is bugging me a tiny bit, but that doesn't matter. As long as it's not my recording which is doing the lagging, that's fine by me. One more shot, one more shot. You're gonna target it and go straight for it. Take him down, very nice, kind of beautiful glowing green like turquoise eyes that's kind of cool I kind of like that it was different they were black and almost like broken like busted eyes in the GameCube version but they're kind of cool but from that Octo big Octo we have a fairy surprisingly enough and this fairy is quite important because you know previously I wouldn't really go to this as a child I wouldn't hunt for this and go find this big octo and fight it because I didn't want to because they were terrifying but this fairy is very useful as you'll see in a bit in a, a quick moment because she has a pretty good power it actually gives us double magic meter holy fucking shit that's pretty important but that's pretty important yeah, there's actually uh you ha that is mandatory if you want to complete this game 100% I mean other than, other than the fact that it's quite important to complete it 100% um, am I, going, I am going the right way, yeah. It's quite important because that's useful for a heart piece. That's what I'm trying to get at. You need that for a heart piece later on. I'll do that later on. Not now. Not now, guys. Not now. But anyway, we're going to go back to this island. This is what we're supposed to be here for. Great big warship there. Get out the way, warship. I've got a couple of tingle bottles stored up. Let's do that now, kind of. Let's do this now when I get on dry land. Get on dry land. Just going to... Actually, I, I kind of don't want to... Uh, okay, that looks interesting. Anyway, so, yeah, there's this guy. This is Knuckle, who, surprisingly enough, you can get quite early on in this game. He's, he's, he's important for a couple of reasons. Um, something I did miss in a couple of dungeons that you have to do to be able to find this guy and to unlock this guy, basically, I haven't done. So I'll come back to them in a different episode. Over here, that's Windfall... Uh, what is that? Hmm... Anybody want to help me with that? Because I don't know what that's supposed to be. I'm not really sure exactly what that's supposed to be. It's kind of like a a really crappy map. A really mappy crap. There we go. That makes sense. Over here, we have a big tablet. So, uh, indicating specific directions. Uh, Wind Waker! Let's go! That seems like the right thing to do. Oh, it's a big song. We've, we've moved away from like 3-4 and 4-4. Four, four. This is now like serious songs time. This is what this is the penultimate song, Berem, uh, yeah. This is the second to last song we will learn in this game, and it's quite a nice song actually. To be honest, it's the Earth God lyric, which has has many uses, kind of not really, but it has very specific uses and quite a lot of those specific uses. But it's a Zora. There's a Zora in front of us. A Zora ghost, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Got these vacant eyes again, my god. Scary. Laruto. So not Naruto. Laruto. Not it's an L, not an N, okay? So it's not like Yeah. She's not a ninja. Far from it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, she's telling us the story of how she died. Which I'm laughing at. I'm I'm very sorry. They, yeah, stole my soul. I'm sorry guys, I laughed at that. I feel bad now. Dang it. So yeah, the the whole fear that these uh, these sages, these uh, uh, priests, I guess priests. Well, the whole the whole point was that they were supposed to be praying to the uh, Hylian gods to give the Master Sword power, I guess. And 
they because they've been struck down because Ganon's taken their lives their souls um, the master sword is like nowhere near as powerful nowhere near as powerful so that's a bit of a bummer not gonna lie it's not very convenient for us it does mean we have to do a bit of legwork to get that thing up and running again but that's what this next part of the game's all about got to fix the master sword surprisingly there are uh, there's a lot of games Oh, actually, it's not that many games. But there's a couple of games where you do have to, like, improve the Master Sword and bring back its previous gleam, I guess. I mean, what? This, you know, obviously Wind Waker has it. Skyward Sword had it. Did Twilight Princess have it? Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. But it's interesting just how, I guess, the Master Sword dulls over time. How it just loses its magic over time. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. Maybe it is. Doesn't matter because we're going to Dragon Roost Island because we're looking for someone with the same, uh, same like musical instrument as that sage. And to be honest, we've only seen a couple of music musical instruments in this game, and the obvious place to go for a harp, at least, at least it makes sense in my my mind, is somewhere. You know, harp is quite an angelic instrument. So you want to go to a place which has people that look like angels. I don't know, you know, that sort of thing. Something like that. And in fact, if you can just hear over the top of my commentary, I can hear harp playing, which means we need to go find that source of the sound. Which means we're going to go through here, we're going to go round a bit, I've got an itchy beard again. Oh, I don't want to itch it. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> itchy beards, how do they work? Don't like it. Hello, chieftain and guards. How you doing, guards? Bye, guards. No, I don't want to talk to you. Go, leave me alone. No, I don't want to talk to people. No. Let's go. Oh dear. I don't want to talk to people. Time's a wa- I went the wrong way. Time's a wasting and you're wasting my time, son. My time is valuable. It's actually like quarter past five in the evening on a Sunday. That's how valuable my time is. That I can only find this time is the best time to do any recording. I put out a countdown today. You know, I should mention that more often because I put, down, I put out a countdown. People ask me, when's the next countdown going up? I put out a countdown. Today, Sunday, 1 p.m. It was 1 p.m. my time, about four hours ago. I, put, I, I made a countdown. It's brilliant. So she has a harp with a face on it. Okay. That's a bit frightening. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It looks quite uh, uh, I, old. Old's the word I'm looking for. Yeah. She keeps talking. We want to get onto something important. Yep, she's having motherly feelings for Kamali. Is that how that works? Okay. Y you have fun with that. She's practicing her harp, which is good for her. Musical instrument practice is something I'm not very good at, but I do play a musical instrument. I don't practice anywhere near as much as I should do. Anyway, we need to play the Earth God lyric to like trigger a s response in her brain. I don't know. Is that how that works? It's a great song though. Earth God lyric. Is she gonna play it for us? Maybe? Go and play it. No, she didn't play it. You bitch. You bitch. You goddamn bird. That's making me angry. And now she oh oh no. No! Who this is not this is a bad a bad plan! Okay. That went quite bad. What was that song about? It's just like BANG! Faint. Whoa! Magic song. Magic, magic song. So they're having a touching moment. I can't do touching. There's going to be a moment late in this game where it gets like really touching. How the hell am I going to do that? <laughs> I can't do touching. Whoa, she appeared to the side. She's like ghostly colour, ghostly complexion. Might be the fact that she's a fish, but she's got a ghostly complexion to her. Genuinely quite frightening. So they're having a duet, playing the same tune. Not even, not even, not even like harmonised or anything. Or maybe they're practising. I don't know. What's going on? They're just, I'm going to teach you the song, and you're going to play it when needs be. I think that's what it is. Yeah, she's teaching. Naruto is teaching medley. Yep. Trifles on the ground. You've done well, my son. My child. Master Sword. Floating Master Sword. Because why the fuck not? 
Oh yeah. Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Bit of a sort of weird scene. But it has its uses. She's learnt the Earth's God lyric, I guess. She spoke so gently. She didn't even say anything. No, that's how gently she spoke. There's something that must be done. I must kill someone. Not sure. She's a sage of the Earth Temple. It was a sage, not a priest. A sage of the Earth Temple. Which means she must, she must now dedicate her life to praying at the Earth Temple to power up our sword, basically. She must take me to the Earth Temple. Which is kind of interesting, because this is slightly more complicated than you think. There's Kamali. He's actually looking slightly less like a, a dick, like he was in the first time he came here. Actually got wings. He's pretty pretty pimped out now. Quickly and quietly. Just like all my foot. No. <laughs> I'm not going there. Anyway. I can't do touching. Guys, I can't do touching. It's gonna get... No. No. He was too late. No. I can't. It's so sad. I can't do it. <laughs> Guys. I'm ruining the moments. It's making me sad. But anyway, this has been Robert Luigi. We have... We are going... Like, where are we going? She's like sitting side side saddle. If she like falls off and goes in the water, it's not our fault, okay? She could like sit where the treasure would go if we were to bring up treasure, where the sail goes. She could go there, and that would be quite painful. But anyway, this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. And in the next episode, we're gonna take Medley to that temple. We're gonna play a nice little tune, and we're gonna start the Earth Temple, okay? So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Take care.